size distribution of a nano material. Let me give you example. Uh, you synthesize uh, nano particles, right? When we perform uh, the scanning electron microscopy analysis or transmission electron microscopy analysis, so we see that there is one big particle and the big particle is let's suppose 15 nanometer and there is one small particle like 5 nanometer and there is one another big particle like 200 200 nanometer is not nanoparticle but anyhow very big particle like 80 nanometer or 90 nanometer so how you claim that uh, the, the, your nanomaterial is uh, 15 nanometer or 5 nanometer because there is a, a range of nanoparticles this is this is how we call it that size distributions this is we call size distributions the size distribution is basically uh, we just uh, distribute this uh, on the basis of number mean if we can say that uh, the, uh, how many nanoparticles are there of 50 nanometer how many particles are there of 5 nanometer similarly we can uh, also do this on base of mass distribution mass base which one is heavier which one is similarly we can also do this on the basis of volume base uh, distribution right these techniques are very common uh, to determine uh, this size distribution from ECM. You can easily see that uh, let's you count the particle and just you from there you see that uh, you can calculate the average here. The dynamic light scattering, uh, this is another technique. The small angle X-ray scattering, I explained this already. The ferromagnetic magnetic resonance and this is differential centrifugal sedimentation process is also useful to find the size distribution. Let me show you here. Look here, this fiber, uh, the, 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 the diameter is basically, the diameter is basically 143 nanometer. And here is this 94.4 nanometer. You see here, so there is a differences here, right? And now if you see here, there is the same cases here, you see, you see here, and uh, it, it also goes here, and look here, this 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 particle here, the with the fiber is made. This is 93, uh, 9, 39 nanometer, and this is 20. So you how you can say exactly that what is the size of the uh, particle here? This is very very uh, clear here. Uh, you see this big particle here and this small particle. So this is very difficult. How how you can say that I exactly synthesize uh, 5 15 nanometer size? Particles. This is this is how there is no uniformity. How to bring uniformity? There is a uh, people. I, I saw many research articles. Uh, they basically uh, synthesize a cube of exactly the same size. If you look everywhere, you will see the same cube. You will see the same cube. So they, there are techniques to do, to synthesize the material, but it's quite difficult. Right. Similarly, look this one here. So. This is how size distribution looks like here and you have to then take the average and how to find this thing you need to use the MHJ, MHJ software or you have to guess from this bar here this bar will also help you to guess and uh, you can find from uh, the machine I always recommend uh, tell the operator tell the machine operator to find the size of the uh, nano material.